Hi everybody, in this video I'll show you how to add background music to your game. Um, and we'll be using the same library for sound effects as well, so if you want to do sound effects this is going to be the first step. We'll be using a sound library called Minim. And so the first thing that you need to do is get a jar file which contains all of the audio code that we'll need to use. And we'll need to bring all of that code in the jar file into our own projects. So if you want to, you can download Minim directly from the internet. So you can search for Minim Audio Library and download it. But I've already collected all the jars for you if you want. So you can go to bit.ly slash fhs-get-sound-lib, L-I-B. Nope. Okay, dash libs, L-I-B-S. There we go. Um, and here you see all of these jar files. So all you want to do is select all of them and then say download. Don't click on the download, don't double click on it, don't try and run it in any way. Instead, go to your downloads folder in your file explorer and find the drive download that just downloaded and then unzip it. Um, so for me, I'm going to right click and say extract all. On Macs, there should be some similar option for extracting the zip file. Um, and once you've extracted it, you should see a folder that has all the jar files here. So what you want to do is uh, copy all of those into your project, but in a very specific way. So go to your project and click on the top level name for your project here. And then say new directory. The word directory is the name for folder. So directory is just the same as a folder. So I'm going to create a folder called libraries. And you should see it get added up here. And now I want to copy all of the jar files into the libraries folder. So I'm going to select all of them, right click, say copy. And then I'm going to click on libraries here and right click and say paste. And if it's worked, if it's worked, you should see, you should be able to expand and close the libraries folder and you should see all of the jar files in there. So next, you want to select the libraries folder and right click and say add as library down here and click OK. And so now you've imported all of that code and made it available for use in your project. So now that all that's done, uh, now comes the easy part. The easy part is inside your code, you need to create a minim object. So you'll say minim uh, loader. And you could, you could call it whatever you want to, but loader, I think, is a nice name. Um, and then inside setup, just the same way that you do for everything else, you'll say loader equals, oops, sorry, you'll say loader, loader.load file, and then you'll give it a file name for some song. Um, so let me show you what that looks like. We, we've got to actually get a song file first. Uh, Minim should be able to support lots of different audio formats. MP3 is a pretty common one. You can also get... Uh, get music and wave files. Um, there's some other lesser known f formats, but I think I think minimum will do all of them. So if you so when you added graphics, you had to actually put the image files inside your project. Same thing for sound. So I'm gonna choose Calypso for Grandpa here. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna click on my project and I'm gonna paste. Say okay. Um, and you should see whatever your song is called add in your project here. So the tricky thing is you have to get the name that you type exactly right. Um, I've typed it wrong on purpose because I want to show you what it looks like when you have a file that it can't find. So I'm going to try and run the project. And you see here it says null pointer exception. Oh, that's a, that's a different error. Okay, sorry, I forgot. So the first thing we have to do is we actually have to create the minim object. So you'll say loader equals new minim this. Okay, so this actually creates the minim loader. And then once you have a loader, then you can use it to load files. So let's, let's look again. Okay, great. So here it's saying uh, file not found exception, and it can't find the music. Um, the good thing is it didn't actually crash. So a couple mistakes I made. I didn't include .mp3 at the end of my file. That's called the file extension. Um, I also missed there two spaces on either side of the hyphen here. 
Um, so you could, you know, just type very carefully. A different thing you could do is you could rename your file. See, mine still thinks it can't find it, so I'm still typing something wrong. Um, so a different thing you could do is uh, before you try and load it, you could rename your file to be something that's easier to type. So I'm going to refactor rename. So I'm just going to rename it to backgroundmusic.mp3. Um, and so now that I've done that, it's going to be really uh, hard to type it wrong. All right, great. So let's run it and see if it loads OK. Great, so it's loaded OK. Um, you may notice that no music is playing, however. So there's one last thing we have to do. Um, this actually creates a new audio player. So we have to make an audio player object, which I'm going to call song. Um, so I'm going to create that object right up here next to the minimum object. And then that's going to be the output from the load file method. So all the code I've written so far is I create a minimum object called loader. I create an audio player object called song. Then I create, I instantiate the minimum object by saying new minimum. Then I use the minimum loader to load a file, and that gets uh, that creates the song audio player. And then the last step is you can tell the song to play. Here we go. Now you've got some nice background music.